Hey y'all, this is Barbara. Today is Sunday, April the 3rd, 2011. And as many of you know, or all of you that entered my giveaway, it ended last night at midnight and I have selected a winner. I used random.org, I think it was. And this is the lucky person that won, Cheryl54517. She was the winner of the IROC. And I want to thank each and every one of you for participating and for all your kind comments and also for the honesty. I had a, a lot of people tell me that they had an IROC and they didn't want to be entered into the contest. But I had some that said they had it, but they, if they want it, they would like to give it away. So I do really appreciate the honesty. Um, if you, the winner, Cheryl... 54517 would send me a private message to my YouTube and send me your address. I will get it out in the mail to you, but you have until next Friday, which is April the 8th. If I have not heard from you by April the 8th, I will have to choose another winner. But Cheryl, I'm hoping that you see this and you will respond to it. Send me a private message and I'll get it out to you. I wanted to um, thank each and every one of you again for participating. And I'm new at YouTube. I'm new at videos. I'm not new at crafting, but I am new at this. So um, I appreciate y'all's patience with me. I wanted to show y'all something. I walked out to the mailbox this morning to get the newspaper. And look at these beautiful flowers that were in my yard. I live in Greenville, South Carolina, and we have had some really bad weather this year, but it hasn't stopped God's creations from growing. And I'm going to take these flowers. I pull them off of the the actual plants themselves and there's probably about six different variations here i'm going to take these flowers and try to create them on the cricket and once i do i will be glad to share them with you this one's kind of simple right here i think i can create this one and then this one this one came off of an azalea bush these should be pretty simple to make an individual flower but not grouped and then, I hope y'all love flowers as much as I do. Then this one, my favorite color of all time, pink. And then this one is quite different from the one I just showed you. It's like um, multiple flowers in one. And then... Sorry about my arm, but like I said, I'm new at all this. And then this beautiful white one. Just absolutely gorgeous. I felt kind of guilty when I broke them off. And I thought, nope, I'm going to share them with my friends on YouTube. And once I learn how to make them on the Cricut, I'll share that with you. And then this one is right by my front door. And it's... It flowered a couple of weeks ago, so this one's just about ready to die, but I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So, in showing you that one, I have already created one of those, and here it is. Isn't that just the prettiest thing? I stole it off of YouTube from some person that already has cre learned how to create them, and I'm going to show you these real quick, too. I made this one I found it on YouTube and this one was a little bit of a booger to make um, this one was fairly easy this one was like off of a Tim Holtz um, somebody copied it from Tim Holtz and it's it's really pretty notice the color um, that one was a little bit of a booger to make and then I made this one it's, I, this one sort of looks like a magnolia to me. And then I made this one for my daughter, but she went home without it. Broke my little heart. She just left her flowers. Just kidding. This one didn't turn out too cute. but. And then I, I, I learned, I got me some glimmer mist. 
and I used it on that one and this one. So I've been making some flowers. Um, I've had an earache, had to go to the doctor, haven't been to the doctor in probably four years as far as medical, physical ailments other than having to have surgery on my shoulder. But um, I had a sinus infection and a, an ear infection. So I feel much better today. So I'm going to be back crafting and and creating and y'all just stay tuned because there's no telling what I'm going to come up with next. But I do appreciate all of you, your patience first, all of your participation, and you mean a, a whole lot to me. Um, you really don't know how much encouragement you give me here in South Carolina because we have no family here now. My daughter moved to Virginia. My son moved to Alaska. So I'm here with my sweet, sweet husband, and I have no complaints about that. Um, I've been blessed beyond measure, and then God blesses me again by putting me, allowing me the opportunity to get on YouTube and meet some really, really nice friends. So again, Cheryl, if you are watching, please respond to me in some form or fashion, the best way you know how, and I will be looking for your response and I must have a response by Friday, April the 8th. So, thanks for watching. I had fun. I hope you did. Y'all have a good day. Bye.